Hey there, I'm Luis and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll take a quick look at Isaac and his event and just have some fun developing him a little bit. So, the name of this event is Engineering Power. We have this sort of, of map that we usually get on, on bigger events. There's some, some daily quests to get to get these, these spheres that we use for, for doing the, the boss fights and other types of fights we can do around here. And with those we get the coin, the coin that we use in the merchant to, to get stuff that we, that we are interested about. So items and you know skin stones and of course and evolving evolving Isaac spawning and evolving evolving Isaac. So parallel to that, there's there's also this special event here where we can get additional additional spheres, you know, just regular logins and you know the, the typical drill. All sorts of, of um, little tasks. I've already summoned Isaac, but he's at two stars, so just just real to start. I'm gonna go ahead and just equip all this stuff and, and upgrade him, and see where we can we can get from here. That's green. This is kind of boring, but yeah. <laughs> you know the drill. Upgrading, upgrading, creating items. We are soon to to reach the more hard to get items in the in the violet line violet li uh, violet line of items. And this power is slowly increasing now at five k. So we are now with part items that are blue, part items that are that are green. None of these items are are grey by now. <laughs> it's always good to save all these low level items whenever a new hero comes up or whenever you want to develop a hero you haven't developed yet. Now we reach now violet and now the violet items start to appear. And let's keep keep building up our blues. It's done. Very thankful for not having sold all this all this stuff. <laughs> now we start now to to use the the violet item. So one of these flaming hearts. I have a lot of these fragments, so really not worried about these ones. So who would have thought <coughs> a mage killer converted into something else here on, on mobile? And this one not really, but this one introduces armor penetration and some of the items I've been introducing, like this one also, introduces armor penetration. After all, engineers work with devices, right? You know, weapons and that's what they build, What's they build machines, they design them. We manufacture them. 
this is where it starts to get expensive you know items inside items the violet class it starts to be a little bit expensive so we're gonna try to reach I suppose orange to get some some extra um, some extra uh, rewards and also to make him minimally viable for some some testing maybe today maybe some other time but let's try to get him to, to orange rank These stats are slowly starting to building up, now close to, to 10k. So Isaac plus 3, just a little bit more to orange. Some more armor penetration. Now let's work on his health. So my giant slayers are running out. <laughs> Can we do this? We might run out. Oh, I see not. Not the case, not the case. But we ran out of gold. <laughs> that wasn't expected. That was not really expected. How much more do we need? Ah. Uh, is that all? That is all. I guess we can. I guess we can try to get some gold now. Why not? So let's just keep rolling till we have enough. Bang! We had, I don't know, three dot five or more million. That's all gone. Just for this experiment. <laughs> So, a little bit more. Okay, that was cool. <laughs> you don't see these often. There we go. Nice reward for, you know, pushing forward. So, we got Isaac to orange. We're not going to take care of the skills. Uh, with quite a good reason no no gold huh? but this is enough to do to do some checking so at this stage no just uh, for out of curiosity so it continues to build up on these items so using a lot of the giant slayers uh, these hexes here the governors so increasing health increasing physical attack this one is increasing armor penetration, the siege crossbow. Um, this one's increased the you know the, the base stats. And then then we move on to like handers. So for more additional physical attack, the these little spheres of throwing knives, that's agility. Now we we get to these ones also for health. And then um, is it the one? No, not really. That's also physical attack and health. I'm not sure if he gets additional or much additional armor penetration. These ones, yeah. The Blades of the Immortals, these ones give extra armor penetration. So he just keeps getting all these stats. Um, it doesn't really... It doesn't stop getting armor penetration. So it's just something that accompanies him all throughout his development. So is 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 this a support that we would think is kind of a mage, but it's not really a mage. Is a is not even compared to 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 mobile to to browser versions uh, a mage killer. So it's somewhere in between some some hybrid that does physical attack and an armor penetration, but. Uh, we have to figure it out. <laughs> I haven't really res researched mu much him, but yeah, we, c we can take a look here. And if you haven't had the opportunity, I'll just show a little bit here. We have the the the, the weapon artifact, and um, basically, 
So, kind of really, oh yes, magic defense. It increases his magic defense, where we have additional armor penetration and physical attack and, you know, the base stat, which is agility. So, it is, is aside from the armor penetration here and the physical attack, so it, it takes more on a, on a def defending role here. So his glyphs, you know, he has he has health and and, um, and magic defense. He has armor, and his only offensive stat will be physical attack here and agility, which increases his physical attack as well. His gifts all the elements is of course uh, based on agility, but also increases the others. And then for skins we don't really have any other than the and the default skin, which is agility. So. By this point, is is armor penetration is one of the higher stats here. So the physical attack is clearly the the the, w the winning in terms of um, not really the, the base stats, but um, or health, but the offensive. And his armor penetration is among the bigger ones. So I'm sorry, <laughs> not really, but uh, you get the point. It doesn't have um, it doesn't have critical hit. It doesn't have magic penetration. It only resorts to armor penetration, which is which is uh, typical of a um, physical attacking hero. That doesn't rely on on critical hitting. And I don't know. Comparing to other heroes, we can take a look here and some of of the heroes that I have a similar level. Let's see, Dark Star here. Darkstar has a bit more armor penetration, so she has some skills, but that doesn't really matter for armor penetration. And the skins, I mean, she received. Oh, sorry, this might this might be subjective then because she received <laughs> this free skin that increases armor penetration by six hundred. So I suppose in comparison, Isaac even has more armor penetration than Darkstar. That's that's interesting. And the physical attack places her uh, close to 6k. I believe I believe Isaac was a, a bit a bit below that. Yeah, at f at five five k. So that's interesting and a real a real offensive um, attacking hero like Darkstar. I was expecting to have more armor penetration, but maybe she's not very famous for that. Let's see further down. Like Tristan it is a recent hero. He has very undeveloped armor penetration. Comparing comparing to Isaac. And um well guess we can compare with Fox here, and al although she's not really on orange rank. Yeah, so not really comparable. Uh, I haven't really consulted um, tables with listing all the the max stats and all that, but uh, it seems to me that Isaac is n might not be in the lower end of armor penetration. So that's that's a bit interesting. So uh, other than that, I mean. I suppose you know, agility is uh, obviously higher than everything else. It doesn't have any dodge. It's not meant to have any dodge. And uh, the bulk of, of his power will be will be in the skills, the skills and the combination of everything else. Is supposed to to not be that much of an offensive hero, but some mm, a hero to support your team. And as expected, it would work well with heroes that 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 work with physical attack because it's also boosting that. So typically, in this case, more specifically, the engineers. So you know that that's going uh, that's going to be that's going to be Fox, that's going to be Astrid, that's going to be Ginger, and Daredevil. And uh, Arachne is also a part of those, although she works a bit different. Now, uh, suppose we should take a look at the event and see see what we can get 
here of extra to develop him. And, um, you know, we have a lot of things here we can collect. Let's see how far we can go with all this. Some of these missions are, are a little bit harder for uh, someone who is not that developed. Uh, if for example, if you don't have, let's say, uh, a stable or a minimally developed um, titans of, of all the, the elements, you might have difficulties in the dungeon to collect the necessary titanite for this for this uh, limited time event. Oh, oh yeah, this is repeatable, I haven't, I haven't noticed. So, in, in this particular uh, quest, if you can get, let's say, um, n 125 titanite a day, that might be enough, that will be enough to, to complete the, the series of the event without repeating, without doing the, the complete walkthrough multiple times for the seven day, I believe seven day event. Yeah, that should be enough. A um, little bit lower will also get you there. But 125, that's going to be a good number because that's just right before the end of the um, of the gate that opens the third level, if you, if you get what I mean. So, Samurai Chests, uh, these ones you can also repeat, I suppose I missed something here. The Expeditions, that's is pretty much almost done. If you have enough enough VIP level, you can do extra extra Expeditions, so that should be very easy if, you, if that's your case. If not, you might have difficulties. Collecting the emeralds, I'm not planning to spend a lot here. And now we have increased Isaac a little bit, so we collect as well these ones. All the way to orange, I don't, I don't think I'll be pushing any further for now. Energy, that's... By this point it's very uh, easy to do, I mean 3.5k three, three in... in it's been four days, that's very uh, achievable. I believe I also missed one or two days of, of spending, you know, those 50 emeralds for energy. But you can you can push forward. I believe it's not that hard to get 5,000 energy spent over, over seven days using this method. Ginger, I've in the past developed a her a little bit, so it's natural that we can claim here some extra rewards. Would it make sense to also push Ginger? Well, to get extra rewards? Maybe yes, maybe not, depending on what you want from from the vendor, from the event vendor. If you want those uh, those gold items, or orange items, maybe, maybe it makes sense. I don't know yet. Uh, you can always look here in the in the stats and see what she will need for each particular level. So, for example, this one is not. This one is not that much expensive. You know, just just some giant slayers here. Mm, one of those blades, but really not that expensive. But as you as you go by, uh, it begins to be expensive. And if you're not planning to use the hero, then it might not make sense. If it just depends up to you. If you have surplus of items and you what you want is the orange items, it might be worth it. That's something for me to to check on the next the next days if I want to push forward and when to stop. So let's collect all of these. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten by ten emeralds. That's nice. So we collect those. We go back to the event. And we don't have anything else to claim except for spending Isaac coins. But we have <laughs> quite a lot of these. 
quite a lot of the um, electric spheres and that's well let's just do oh yes that's something that was different in the past because you could do the raid so it would have hurt me less if I would have spent these in the first days of the week as I collect spend because now the boss it might grow a bit too difficult for me to continuously continuously fight and spend these coins these uh, matrix oh <laughs> matrix spheres but the, the game crashed <laughs> oh well <laughs> unexpected yeah No, that's just what happens sometimes. So I was saying that it's better to 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 keep spending those day by day uh, in the fights, um, so that you don't stockpile so much for the last days. Because in the last days, if you have a lot stockpiled, you might not be able to to spend those. So with that said, let's let's just uh, do do one or two fights. I don't know. I'm going to blame the elves now. No, it's not the elves. Let's just do one or two fights here just to you know, show it. I, m I mean, <laughs> we're doing a video. We can also take the time to to create a memorabilia for this. So here's the boss. Is um is actually one of the um, what they call it. Not villains, but uh, one of the let's say just enemies on um, on one of the later chapters on on the browser versions. That's not really uh, uh, currently accessible on mobile, and that's good because <laughs> that would mean extra ten levels of experience and red gear. <laughs> I mean, some of you might disagree with me, but um, not having to develop those—that's that's. that's that's also good. <laughs> That's a lot of work and a lot of time. So we're just doing a few here. Uh, this will be, this will be the, the last one, just for the sake of it. Trying to get, you know, to see that the difficulty is increasing. At least that's how I remember that this is supposed to be. Um, I haven't really noticed that much of an increase. Or maybe I'm just fantasizing. Let's see. Let's try to, to, s to make that visible still not conclusive still not conclusive and maybe that's not the case anymore so anyways we we spent uh, uh, a little bit uh, of the electric spheres we gained a little bit more of the isaac coins that you could have been a bit more creative on that but anyways and now we can spend um some more and see see what happens to isaac in terms of, of stats so before we move on that we're going to take a quick look at isaac here it should have moved a little bit up here in the ranking so here it is so he's now at 10k power and let's say i mean probably the health would be the more interesting in uh, armor penetration my penetration might not change, but health and physical attacks, so 30k, 5k, armor penetration, 1.3k, armor almost 2k, I see if any of that changes significantly, just for the the sake of it. So we're going to press now the button here and spend our 5,000 coins. So that increased just a little bit shy of uh, 1k power. Agility was affected, and also intelligence and and, um, uh, and strength. With that, at least health, physical attack have changed, but not necessarily any of the others. And that's exactly that. Oh, the armor did change a bit, and magical attack is also normal to change. So. That's that's it. He gained seven seven k of health. Um, I don't really know if I should put him as a as a as a um, like a substitute a substitute um, hero for specific scenarios. You know, like in a sports game, you <laughs> have 
some people in the bench and when you need them you call them and they replace someone in your team it might it might be it might be a fit for that in the future in any of my teams it might not be the case that anyways that's that's it for today and i hope you enjoyed any of this um if you if you are interested in more of these videos just just keep looking and subscribe maybe and then you show me your appreciation or not and just put a like or dislike and or comment and you can always tell me if there's something you would like to see me cover if you prefer uh, longer videos like this one or shorter videos just let me know and that's it bye bye guys and see you around <laughs>